Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 7 of Two Point Hospital. So in the last episode we got our second star rating uh, and we've moved our ward because we built this extra plot uh, for our hospital. Uh, so we moved our ward over here because we've got an emergency and I don't think we had enough beds. Uh, so they're all in the ward at the minute and I'm just wondering whether we could actually get a second nurse in here because you can actually uh, put extra staff in this room. Uh, so let's have a quick look just to see if there's anyone we could hire. Uh, so Alfred Black here, oh, actually looks like quite a good candidate. Uh, they've got ward management one, uh, so that's cool. Uh, they've got green fingers. Ah, uh, the boy next door thinks their life is a rom-com and they trust the postal service. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, so I think we're going to hire this person. Uh, let's just put them down there a moment. And we'll do one extra staff. And now Nurse Alfred Black uh, will join our ward. Uh, actually, it's just got rid of the other one. Uh, but if we unpause it, I reckon it'll update itself uh, or not. Uh, where's our ward management nurse, our proper nurse going? Um, they're trying to leave. Oh, we might have blocked that doorway a little bit. Uh, we might have put this desk a little bit too close. Hang on. I hope that nurse is going to want... Where's they all gone? <gasps> oh no, what have we done? What have we done? Let's just put that over there because it's driving me mad. I have discovered the heater had been jammed with sodium. Oh no, they've all left. Okay, don't take your staff out of the ward because they're all trying to leave. Uh, but they're using both the screens. Okay, so we didn't do that very well, did we? Uh, but never mind. Uh, hopefully, we'll still cure them in time. <laughs> I think we'd best put some benches down uh, for them just to wait while we sort this out. <laughs> oh, that is so funny. What did we do? Oops. <laughs> oh, we probably should get a hand sanitizer outside here. Um, like there. You have, you do tend to have those kinds of things just outside a ward. <laughs> Oops, uh, we didn't mean to do that, uh, but never mind, they're all kind of filtering back in. Uh, let's just get our VIPs in there first, and hopefully we won't have just failed that. Oh dear, never mind, uh, just leave your nurses to do what they like. It did say that nurse was originally like going to join the ward when I plunked them outside, uh, so I should have just left him rather than trying to put him in the room. <laughs> Lesson learned. Uh, right, so we've got an inspection report uh, here. Uh, Mr. Jobsworth has sent us the report from his recent visit. It's 30 pages, so we haven't read it, but the conclusion reads, Incredibly mediocre, with no features that sway the overall product, neither negatively nor positively, outside of the realm of the ordinary. Oh no. Uh, nothing to complain about here, but not much to be happy about either. Uh, so we didn't maintain our items fast enough, unfortunately. Uh, oh dear. This uh, person's not very healthy, are they? Uh, can we... Let's just bump them up the queue. They're in the toilet. Oh, that's a... Oh. I was going to say that should be a staff toilet, but I suppose it could be anyone's. Uh, mm, never mind. Right, uh, so we've got lots of goals to be going on with, and we're nearly at the end of the year, so we'll have an award ceremony soon. Uh, but we've got... Oh yes, do tip the doctors. Uh, oh, we've just cured a couple of patients there. Uh, so we need to get a three-star hospital. We need a cure rate of 70%. We're actually currently at 80%, uh, so that's good. Uh, a hospital attractiveness of 65%, and we're actually at 67%, uh, so that's really cool as well. Uh, we need to cure 20 patients and get our hospital uh, level up to 10. Uh, so, we've got a few things that we could build. Uh, now that we've got another wing uh, to our hospital, uh, we could uh, actually start building more diagnosis areas, couldn't we? 
so, ooh, 86%. I don't think we'll deal with that one. Uh, let's just have a quick Q rearrange. Uh, so we need a cardiology room. Uh, we can get that. Um, and we probably want another GP's office because we're struggling a bit here. Um, oh, they can go. Uh, and we could potentially get another pharmacy, uh, things like that. Without leaving the comfort of your car. And remember, order more than 10 Roach Burgers and get a free road shake. Roach, Roach Burgers! 24 hours a day. This is Two, two Point Radio. Okay, so we've got our award ceremony. And as you can see, uh, we gained Doctor of the Year, Nurse of the Year so far, uh, Employer of the Year, Most Prestigious, and Patience Award. Uh, but we haven't had no deaths, and we won't get that this time, unfortunately. Uh, and we've not had Janitor or Assistant of the Year. Uh, so let's just get these open and see what we've got. <gasps> Look at this! Well, obviously we haven't got no we haven't got no deaths because we have had some patients die, but we've got all the other awards. We've got our first janitor of the year. Well done, Brandy Puffin, uh, and we've also got our assistant of the year. Meryl Huffalump has done us proud, uh, and doctor of the year is Petra Haircut, and nurse of the year is Violet Shirtdress. Wow. I didn't expect us to get this many awards, actually. That's really cool. Uh, we just need no deaths, but how do you get no deaths? I just, uh, I suppose you need some, like, uber doctors and nurses that are, like, perfect at treating people, and you need to really queue manage for a year and stop, like, people, like, missing out on treatment and dying before they get that far. Uh, but yeah, that is fantastic. Wow. Seven out of eight. Awesome. Uh, right, so we've got cues in our GP office. This isn't good. And I think, uh, let's have a look at how many doctors we've got so far. Uh, oh, we've actually got six. Uh, no, we haven't. That's not our doctors. That's higher. But we, oh, we do actually have six. Oh, that's cool. It tells you in the higher list how many you've got. Uh, so we've got two GPs here. Um, Eleanor Pillow and Petra Haircut. Uh, and they're on a break, uh, they're on a break but on call, uh, I think we, oh, uh, that doctor there needs to go on a break and they're actually working in the GP's office, uh, even though they're not a GP. Uh, maybe we could hire someone with more general practice? Uh, so who have we got? Uh, Dickie Skinner here <laughs> has got a short temper. Unfortunately, they had general practice too as well, uh, but we don't want someone with a short temper. Uh, so if we got oh one with diagnostics, oh they're a litterer. Oh that's no good. We don't want a litterer. Pam humbug. Uh, okay. Oh no, and we've got Betty rampant here. Is uh, unhygienic. It just goes from worse to worse, doesn't it? Uh, okay. Uh, Jess flavor. Is perfect, uh, but they've got no skills. <laughs> oh, who could we get for now just to help Q bust? One with short temper becomes nasty when unhappy. Well, that's no good. Um, or a litterer. We could probably we could cope with a litterer for now, I suppose. Uh, Pam humbug until we get another one but we've never had anyone drop any litter in uh, litter in our hospital and we don't want to start here with that but i do like this doctor for a gp's office because they've got diagnostics too and that would really help and they're really motivated and they're a class clown so they are an entertainer as well i think we'll go with pam humbug for now and um, we'll just try and remember to get rid of them in the future. Uh, so who have we got? We've got a doctor here somewhere that's not very good. Uh, oh, hang on. We've got two uh, doctors that aren't very good in our GP's office. Uh, let's get rid of that one because this one's got treatment. Uh, and they actually need a break. Uh, so they can go in here. 
Uh, and let's see if can we do anything else with these cues? I don't think we can. I think we've just dealt with it as best we can. Uh, although we do have some patients uh, that aren't very healthy. Uh, mm, this isn't good. Hang on, let's get that one up there. Hugh Carpet here has only got 74% health. <gasps> Not good at all. Uh, mm. Okay, I think we've got that one about right. Let's just have a quick look at this one. 79%, that's not good. There we go. Uh, that looks a bit better. How's our pharmacy doing? There, you see, they're not really that over stat, you know, over like uh, busy with patients. So they're doing okay. Uh, and I think our pans lab and things like that are actually uh, not really that much in demand either. Which is a bit strange. Uh, oh, have we got a queue for our general diagnosis? We do. Where are all our staff? Because uh, we've got five nurses here. Um, somewhere. When it wants to work. So we've got one here with diagnostics that's actually on a break, and we've got one here that's on a break as well. Okay, so let's uh, maybe pinch Brangelina Strudel, and she can go into our general diagnosis. And I think uh, we could probably build... Let's get this on pause now. Uh, we could probably build a general diagnosis over here. Uh, but we do need another GP's office. Or maybe we should make this diagnosis. But is that making your patients wander too far? It might be. Hmm. i tell you what, no. Let's make a cardiology room here. Uh, but we do need another GP's office, don't we? Oh, I'm lost. What do we do? Right, uh, cardiology first. Let's go with that. Uh, let's build that here. like there. Uh, so we've got in here, we've got a heart racer, uh, which we all need. Uh, and we've got a, oh, we can put a wall monitor in here. Really? Oh, that's cool. Uh, uh, so where could we put that? Maybe somewhere like here, near our uh, heart racer. We'll have a little window. Oh, why can't I place a window in? Oh, is that door? I've placed that door really badly. How silly of me. Right, try that again, shall we? Uh, we need a filing cabinet or two. Uh, probably a hand sanitizer, just in case. No <laughs> oh, let's get some posters in here as well. to Two Point Radio with your resident weirdo, Harrison Wolf. Stay tuned for some great music. You never know, you might get lucky. Okay, so I think, apart from a fire extinguisher, we've got everything. Uh, and we'll just place one of those outside as well, if it'll let me. No, it won't. Hang on. Okay, well, let me do that for some reason. Need water. I think that is everything. Cool, so we've now got a cardiology. Uh, so let's have a quick look at our staff list because uh, we had um, a couple that could just bounce between rooms. Uh, so we could have... We need someone with pharmacy management, don't we? We could have... Uh, those two just do actually no we'll keep those as kind of uh ones that just flip between rooms um i think we might keep this alfred black person in the ward uh and not bouncing between the other rooms at the minute and that will help our ward deal with patients faster because we're getting quite a few people uh for the ward 
Um, oh, she says, and there's just two patients in there. Okay, well, we were uh, getting quite a few patients for the ward. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, uh, so we've got some mail. Let's have a quick look at that. Uh, special report, we cured three out of four of our ward patients with lazy bones. That might have been because we messed up a little bit. Eek. Uh, but we did still get 10 rep, 10 kudosh, and $10,000, uh, so that's pretty cool. And uh, Barney Chinwag here would like a hospital attractiveness of 70%. Uh, well, we need to work towards our level, eight, uh, level 10, don't we? Uh, so we could do that, uh, but first... We are going to have to uh, deal with another GP's office. And I'm thinking our toilet and everything here is kind of in the way. Um, that toilet's not in a very good place at all right now. I think we might need to move like our reception desk forward a bit. Um and then move this GP's office a bit. But maybe, oh, I don't know. I maybe shouldn't have left this like this, you know. I probably should have changed it. Um, what I might have to do... Oh, there's loads of people in the toilets, though. I can't edit that room. Oh, no. Okay, let's see if we can fit in uh, a GP's office here and hope for the best. Oh, do we... I tell you what, no, let's just put one over here, because we've got plenty of room there, haven't we? Uh, right, GP's office. Uh, I think we'll just do it like that. So indecisive, but sometimes you just... It's difficult to know what to do uh, for the best of where to put things. Uh, ooh, prestige level two, cool. Uh, windows. Yeah, let's annoy the patients and let people look in. Into empty space and just ponder the mysteries of the universe. Like, how many planets out there support life? And what's another word for thesaurus? More existential questions after this. Cool, we could have a little rug in there. Uh, right, so we've nearly got everything we need. Uh, let's just get some posters in here. Make it look a bit prettier. And we definitely want a certificate, say our doctor's certified. Get some drawings. Let's make this a really nice room uh, for them. Ooh, we could actually get some new items now, couldn't we? Because we've got 325 uh, kudosh there. Uh, do you know what? I think I'm going to start getting the bigger bin uh, rather than this one. Because it holds more. Uh, a bigger, hungrier bin needs emptying less often than a regular bin. So it reduces litter, so that's uh, good. Uh, what else could we get in here? <gasps> a trophy case? Ooh... That'd be quite cool, wouldn't it? Could get a cupboard. Oh, I don't know now. What do we get? Should we get a trophy case? And let them show off their trophies? Uh, if they've won any, of course. Uh, let's move the bin. And pop it back here, I think. <gasps> cool. Uh, oh, our prestige is level three. Let's get a few more bits. Um, medicine cabinet, but I think that would work better in like the pharmacy or somewhere. Although it does have plus one diagnosis power, um, but we can't afford it anyway. It's four hundred kudosh, uh, so it's a moot point, really, isn't it? <laughs> uh, how about we just stick in some like light-headed posters? Um, uh, we probably don't want the raw shell one though. Oh, what else can we put in to make it prettier? I think 
we pretty much done everything, haven't we? Oh, um, I don't want to put in another plant because that wouldn't be very good. Can we just put in like another bookcase? That'll do it. Cool. So we've got our third GP's office. <gasps> we can shoot this mono brow. Look at that. Oh, mono beast, even. <gasps> it worked. Why does sometimes it work and sometimes it doesn't? That's really strange. Into the sure thing hotel in Grock Bay yesterday. He was then seen running out and screaming this morning. Sounds about right. Okay, so I'm thinking we probably want to uh, start working on this hospital level and our attractiveness for that staff request. Uh, so we could just, I know this isn't necessarily dealing with uh, attractiveness, but we do need to put in a few items here, don't we? Um, where could we put a bin? Let's put a big bin, like uh, here. Uh, maybe. Uh, I'm just wondering if we could put some benches in there somewhere. Maybe just outside the rooms, I guess. Like that. That works for me. Uh, oh, and then attractiveness. We're going to have to look at that, aren't we? Uh, so, ooh. It's not very good, is it? Maybe we should put a plant outside this room. We could just start placing like random posters around the hospital though, couldn't we? Like, because I think they deal with attractiveness. So we've got like lightheadedness. So if we put that like there. Hang on. Oh, we can't get it. Hang on. How about there? Mm, it doesn't actually do a lot, does it? No, maybe not. Uh, we're going to have to go with plants. We'll put it there. Yeah, look at the area effect on that. That's so much better. Uh, let's have a look. Have we got any really bad areas? We've got a few, haven't we? Uh, we could put a plant in there. Uh, we could put a plant in there. Uh, oh, we could make that GP's office just a little bit bigger, couldn't we? Or we could put in a staff toilet, couldn't we? Of some description. Now, how about we just put a plant there? Um, oh, health inspector. Oh, no. Henry Jobsworth again. Oh, dear. Oh, ooh, new illness. Inflated ego discovered. Our doctors have discovered a new illness, inflated ego, a dangerous build-up of narcissistic thoughts. If left untreated, parts of the ego begin to protrude from every orifice. <laughs> what? <laughs> Which is highly unpleasant for anyone nearby. A psychiatrist must carefully deflate the ego using a massive pin. We'll send the patient for treatment in our psychiatry. <laughs> what? Okay, uh, well done. We successfully completed the request from Barney Chinwag to have a hospital attractiveness of 70%. Yay! Cool. That's awesome. Uh, do... We probably do need some more stuff though, don't we? Do you know what? I think we will build a little staff toilet here. But first, um, let's deal with our maintenance stuff quickly. Uh, so let's get some of this done. He's going to come here first, isn't he? So this is really handy being able to have uh, this on so that you can see what needs maintaining and what doesn't. Oh, that bin's a bit yellow, isn't it? Uh, oh gosh, one of our toilets is not very good either. Oh, but our machines are doing well. Look at that, they, they're full repair. Oh, well, nearly anyway. That's cool. We will get a good report this time. I'm determined. Uh, I think 
We've got most of on this part of our spell. Uh, so you can actually also cancel the request to clean up the bin if you really want to, or whatever item you've uh, selected. We don't want to do that. I'm thinking with all these plants we've got, we might need another janitor. Because they're not... They're not getting maintained quite as well as I'd like. I've only just put that bin there, that's crazy. Uh, right, so that's that done. We're just going to have to hope for the best now. Let's get rid of that because it's a bit bright. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Oh gosh, we've got a patient who is very uh, low on health there. Um, I kind of wish it wouldn't jump to the patient when you uh, try to, when you click on them. Uh, let's get them. They're in the bathroom. Whereabouts in the bathroom? Oh, it's this dude here, Jonathan Nutt. I can't believe with three P uh, three GPs offices three P, um, we are actually uh, still heavy on queues. Oh no! Was that uh? Yeah, death there and a death there. Oh, that's not good. Right? Do you know what? I think we're gonna have to be a bit cruel here. Hang on. Oh, that has that been? No, they haven't been cured yet, have they? Bored. Oh no, treatment failed. Ooh. Oh, that's not good. Oh no, look now we've got a ghost. <gasps> oh no, Henry Jobsworth, and there's a ghost. Where's our uh, psychiatrist? Uh, psychiatrist? That's because I looked at them, and it said psychiatry. <laughs> Where's our janitor? Uh, with ghost power. Uh, oh, they're on a break. Well, I'm sorry, but you're yeah, not anymore. Because uh, we have a ghost. Uh, and Henry Jobsworth's going to spot it at any moment. But if he sees us busting it... No, I think he saw it. And he wasn't happy. Oh, dear. Toilets. Oh, cool. Jonathan Thunder here has got a request. I'm making a wig for a friend. I need a lot of hair. ASAP. Could you catch me some of those mono beasts? Uh, and we've got a challenge to shoot five of them. Awesome. Uh, so we've got 180 days uh, and plus 25% happiness if we do it. Uh, so let's uh, accept that request. Uh, and a new illness, lycanthropy, has been discovered. Uh, once thought to be extinct, lycanthropy is making a comeback in dangerous forests across the land. Sufferers get it from direct exposure to light from the full moon, or possibly from door handles. What? <laughs> Research is ongoing to discover which, uh, and they are going to be treated at the pharmacy. Uh, ooh, which may mean we're going to need a second pharmacy. Interesting. Uh, we could do that, couldn't we? Um, oh, let's get them bumped up the queue. Uh, oh gosh, look at this. I think we're going to have to get rid of this person here. Just me or the pointy mountains getting less pointy? I think they're going to die before we, we cure raise them. Money and get them sharpened. I mean, who wants to live in the shadow of blunt mountains? Okay. Uh, right, hang on. Uh, gosh, it's just really funny how, like, in Hogsport, it was so easy. But all of a sudden, our hospital's getting really busy. Um, and now the pressure's on a little bit, uh, like with queue management, um, patients' health deteriorating faster, uh, and what have you. Uh, there's a lot more going on now, uh, for sure. Um, I want to check that we've got... Um, a, is there a nurse we can hire with pharmacy treatment? Uh, a natural mentor and understands digital memory to an extent. Uh, Natasha Links here is really good, uh, and I'm going to hire her because I think Sean here isn't very good. Oh no, they died! Treatment failed! Okay, so we need to get rid of uh, that person from there. We need another 
nurse or pharmacy. Um, but we don't have one at the minute. Do you know what we could really do with training about now? Uh, and this is where um, it would be handy to move on to the next hospital because uh, we could actually... Um, we could then unlock the training room and come back here and start training some of these nurses and doctors that aren't quite as good as we want, uh, but they're really good candidates because they've got um, really good uh, employment reference here. Uh, so they've got things like funny and charming and things like that. Uh, but then we could like train them a bit. So we may need to consider actually moving on to flottering uh, so that we can then come back uh, to places like this at a later date. Although we are actually, oh, not patients cured though. <gasps> Our patients cure rates dropped down to 70%. No. Maintenance announcement, plants need water. Oh no. We were, we were so close to getting a level 10 and we've dropped our cure rate down. Uh, we definitely need to start getting uh, some uh, nurses and stuff that are more skilled, I think. Um, right. Oh, there's so much going on. <laughs> it's unreal. Uh, right, barbershop quartet. A local barbershop quartet called The Four Freds wrongly believes that they're about to embark on a massive stadium tour. They haven't even arranged for anyone to run their barbershop. Their families are sending them for treatment for Mockstar. We'll be rewarded if we treat this group, should we have them sent here. Uh, so we'll have four patients with Mockstar uh, to go to the psychiatry and we'll get 10 rep, 10 kudosh and $10,000. I think we'll give it a go because I don't think our psychiatrists are particularly overrun with patients. Uh, so we'll try that one. Uh, and maybe that'll help our cure rate. <laughs> uh, an inspection report. Yay! Henry Jobsworth uh, was happy with us. And he said that our hospital is one of our county's best medical destinations. Destined to be a favourite of the sickly enthusiast in the know. Well done. Uh, so that's really good. And we got our reward. Awesome. Uh, so we, we managed to uh, deal with all our maintenance in time this, this time. Uh, let's have a look at our psychiatry. I feel a little bit under pressure this time. <laughs> and the thing is, I know that flottering is actually a lot worse uh, than this place. Uh, right, we're going to have um, an influx of patients. Uh, maybe we'll send uh, this doctor on a break. <gasps> That is rubbish on the floor. Eleanor Pillow. No, it, it can't be Eleanor Pillow. Who did that? There's nothing wrong with that bin. And there's rubbish on the floor. I'm absolutely disgusted at that. That is not good at all. <laughs> I bet that's our new uh, person that we got, isn't it? Uh, right, where's our other GP? We've got cues going crazy here uh, and we've also got some sickly patients um actually another way that you can look at this is oh we've never been to this what that was silly of me uh is to go to your patients list uh which might actually work out a bit easier uh so use the patients list to monitor all of the patients in the hospital review their diagnosis and treatment progress and health and happiness Quickly find people who are who are unhappy or unhealthy and fast track them by bumping them up the queue for their appointments. Uh, so we can do this by sorting them here into various things. Now, first of all, uh, you can see here all these patients have already got their diagnosis um, and they're either queuing or in their respective rooms. Uh, and here we've got uh, Raquel Colossus. Uh, has got a diagnosis certainty of 100%, uh, so we'll get them straight for treatment. Uh, and Igella here has got 94%, uh, but what are they doing? They're waiting, uh, but we can't send them for treatment. I think they're possibly about to go to the toilet. Or are they in the toilet? Oh no, they're in the toilet, that's why we can't. Uh, how about Sarah here? They can go for treatment. 
Uh, and when Nigella washes her hands and everything, uh, we can send her... Uh, she's just taking her time at the minute, though. Uh, right, who else have we got? 87%. It's not quite good enough for me. Uh, but let's have a look at our health, because uh, we've got a few people here that aren't very good. Um, I'm just not sure this patient's going to get cured in time. Oh no, they're still being diagnosed. I um, we're going to have to be mean here, and I think we're going to have to send this patient home, uh, because I don't think they're going to be diagnosed in time before they uh, die, unfortunately. Uh, and this person's not very happy. Penny Hogwash. Oh no, their treatment failed. Uh, top complaints, desperate for the toilet, very hungry, very thirsty, and... Oh. That's not very good, is it? We failed Penny Hogwash. Okay, so... Sue here is uh, already going to the cardiology, so that's fine. Um, oh, we've got another one here ready for treatment. Uh, where were we up to? We've got Percy Eggman here. He's not very good, uh, but they're the next in queue for uh, the pharmacy, so that's okay. Uh, and Potty Mouth here. <laughs> the Potty Mouth. Clive Nut here with Potty Mouth. Uh, we're going to bump them up the queue, I think. And we're doing okay. I think we're doing all right at the minute. But let's just quickly have another look at our diagnosis. Uh, see if we can send anyone else. Uh, so, we seem to be getting a thing for like toilets and what have you. Um, and I would say that toilets is big enough. Uh, but maybe we do need a staff toilet in here. Uh, why did I click on staff? Uh, actually, do you know what? I think we're at the end of this episode. We've got a lot going on, uh, but we do need to end this uh, and move on to the next episode because we're quite over time. Uh, and I'm sorry, but we have got so much going on here um, to be dealing with. Uh, so I shall see you uh, in the next episode.